are you? I'm Mike from All Wildlife Removal. We are in Oakville, Ontario today. Uh, this person's house that we're at had uh, problems with squirrels in the attic. Um, and initially we thought it was your, just your basic black or gray squirrel. Uh, we've locked down the majority of the house, but uh, upon installing our drip edge, we've got a piece here. This will show the customer a, a small example of what this is. So this is Basically what we do is install this underneath the shingles. So this part goes underneath the shingles, covering the roof board, and comes down over the fascia into your eavesdrop. Okay, now this does a couple of things, all right? First of all, it does a natural water line into your eavesdrop. So comes off the shingle, runs down, keeps the water away from getting underneath the shingle, and away from the fascia board into the gutter, which will that which will protect your roof board primarily. Okay. The second thing we use this for is because of thickness, the gauge of this steel, it keeps any squirrels from being able to chew through it to get into your attic. Okay. So when we first got here, uh, we did find an entry at the front of your uh, black or gray squirrel. Okay. It's got a, a larger entry point. But when we were installing the drip edge, we found something new. I'm gonna take you up here, up the ladder. We found this. So basically, by gauging the size of my finger next to the hole, this is far too small for your regular black or gray squirrel to get into, but definitely big enough for a red squirrel to get into. Okay, so we're going to install our drip edge, continue on inside this eavesdrop under the shingle here, and then we're going to screen this area off here. Squirrels love to chew inside the eavesdrop on the fascia board, and basically what this drip edge does is, is just protect against that. Um, the squirrels can't get onto any of the exposed board, and also the drip edge gives you a nice clean water channel for water to drip off and down into your eavesdrop rather than curling under the shingle and riding out your roof board. Okay, so you've got a two, two sort of process uh, protection here. Um, so people say, well, you know, I don't believe that squirrels can chew into the fascia board. Let me give you a little example. So this was the primary entrance for a black or a gray squirrel. Now, as you can see, there's two marks on that um, eavesdrop, and then obviously behind the eavesdrop into the fascia board, okay, which gives them plenty of room to get inside. And once they're inside the attic, they can basically get anywhere in your home. Okay, so we've installed our one-way door mechanism, uh, screened off any of the surrounding areas so that they can't continue down and chew. And then obviously the drip edge continues on down the whole length of the eavesdrop. So we'll give the animal proper time to uh, leave through the one-way door. The one-way door will open, shut behind it, and it won't be able to get back in. Another job well done by the best in the business, all wildlife removal. Mm -hmm.